In this video, you will learn 11 plus known verbal reasoning type 10, merge shapes. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we have two shapes. So let's start with shape one and shape two. So in shape one, we have a square on the outside and then a triangle in the inside that has been shaded in black. On top of this triangle, there is a stripy pattern. In shape two, we have a horizontal line. On top of this horizontal line, there's a triangle attached to this line. And in this triangle, we have a hatched pattern. So let's have a look at A. In A, if we find either one of these shapes different when we have merged them, then we cross it off. So if you find in any of the options that either of these shapes or one of the shapes is different, we cross it off because we need the shapes to stay the same. The shapes can be rotated, but they cannot be reflected, nor any of the features inside the shape can be changed. So let's start with A. In A, let's start with shape one. So we have the square on the outside, the triangle in the inside that has been shaded in black, on top of it, the stripy pattern. So we have everything in shape one, and we can move into shape two. In shape two, we have the horizontal line. But if you notice, the triangle we have in shape two is pointing towards the right hand side. However, in A, the triangle is pointing downwards. And also this triangle is in the wrong position because this triangle is more towards the middle of the line, whereas this triangle is more towards the end of the line because the triangle is pointing towards the wrong direction and at the wrong place in the horizontal line, we can go ahead and cross off A. So let's move to B. So let's do the same thing with B. So in B, let's start with shape one. We have the square, the triangle shaded in black and the stripy pattern. Everything in shape one is right there, so that's fine. Let's move to shape two. So in terms of shape two, we have the horizontal line, just here, and also we have the triangle. And the hatched pattern is in the right direction. B seems to take all of the category, but let's check the remaining ones just to be sure that B is our answer. So let's move into C and let's leave B for now. So in C, let's start by doing the same thing. Let's go with shape one first. So in terms of shape one, we have the square on the outside, the triangle in the inside, and then the stripy pattern. Everything in shape one is the same, so therefore, we can move into shape two. So we have the line, and then we have the triangle, and the triangle is pointing towards the right direction. But if you notice the direction of the hatch lines, they're in the opposite direction, because over in shape two, they're going from top left to bottom right. So in this direction, over in C, they're going from bottom left to top right, over in this direction. Since both of these directions are opposite to each other, so they're different. So therefore, we can cross off C. So let's move into D. In D, let's start with shape one. In terms of shape one, we have a square, triangle shaded in black, and a stripy pattern. Everything is the same, and we can move into shape two. In terms of shape two, we have the horizontal line, and then we have the triangle. This triangle is pointing towards the right direction, and the hatch lines, the direction of them is also the same, just like in the shape two. But the thing is different is the fact that the triangle is located in the wrong place. Because over in shape two, the triangle is located towards the end of the line, but over in D, it's located towards the middle of the line. Because it's located at the wrong place, we can go ahead and cross off D. Because it's located in the middle and not towards the end. So let's move into E, and in E, you can straight away see that the triangle is located in the wrong direction, just like in D. They're both in the same direction, which is not the same as shape two. So therefore, we can go ahead and cross off E straight away. So that means we're left with B. So our answer to this question is also going to be B. For more practice questions on merge shapes, the link is in the description below and in the comment section. So go check that out. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.